All right, Shalom, Israel. I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine, how I learned the truth from according to the Bible. On the Akim Ha my young. And I would like to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and our righteousness and the sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay. And to you sincere believers in, in the few aqua, I would like to say shalom. Um, hey, the servant is not greater than the Lord, man. We're not greater than Yahweh Shah. So we can't get proud in this truth that the Lord Yahweh Shah blessed us with. Okay, this is Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 16. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Okay, see, a just man, a righteous man, a Yahweh Shemai was shy. Someone who's coming back, serving Yahweh Shemai was shy, and now truth and the sincerity, man, spirit and truth. Okay, the one that it was ordained to come back to serve Yahweh Shemai was shy, the one that the Lord chose out of that world. You're going to mess up, man, but you got to examine yourself, okay, whether you be in the faith. You're going to mess up, man. You can't get proud, high-minded, boasting, okay? Because the Lord will bring you low, man, okay? Let me see if I can get that in, um... Second Samuel... First Samuel. First Samuel verse two and seven. It says, um, no, I'm starting verse six. It said, The Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. Okay. See, the Lord do this, man. Okay, the Lord does the exalting, and the Lord does the humbling. Okay? So, I'll praise it to you. How about some of shot, man, for chastising us, man? Okay, when you go off, don't beat yourself up, man. Repent. Repent, man. Show you how about some of shot that broken heart, that contrite spirit, man. Show him the sincerity, because we, 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 we deserve more. We deserve more punishment, man. We went off. Okay? We don't know who we were in our past lives, even though that's another topic for another day. But right while we got the chance in this grace period, man, we need to be cleaving unto you. How about you, shot more, man? Trying to make our calling of calling and election sure. Being diligent. Okay? Being humble, man. Not proud. Um... Let me get Second Edges, chapter 16, and verse 75. It says, I'm going to start at verse 74. It says, Hear ye, O beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide. Okay? And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, says the Lord, Yahweh power. Let not your sins weigh you down and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. That's the balance, man. Okay. You don't want to be like that. Don't let don't let your sins weigh you down. man. And don't let your iniquities lift themselves up. Okay, so that's balance, man. That's balance. That's not saying go be a, a willful sinner, go go off. No, hell no. So like you for my language. But in this wicked flesh, man, you will make incorrections, man. You will have, you will have, you got flaws, man. But you got to examine yourself. You got to recognize your strength and your weakness. That's why fasting and praying is very important. 